Can you even sum up how you're feeling right now? Oh, I honestly think it's an honour and a privilege mm -hmm. to be part of an occasion like that uh, and to see the players stand up and be counted in the manner that they did. I, I thought they at least deserved a draw. Uh, I thought Craig Gordon made two excellent saves, but I, I thought that the players at last got their rewards. Have you had a feeling in football like when that goal went in? Uh, not as a manager, not in that environment because mm -hmm. just of everything that goes around it, the emotion, the, the atmosphere, the songs, the chanting all the way mm -hmm. through. And I said to the players, I'm going to challenge you, you have to keep believing. Yeah. You have to keep believing because you won't get things, things will go against mm -hmm. us. You have to stay strong and I thought they did that really well. Do you think that was the difference today, that they kept believing, that they kept that until the end? I think they showed a great deal of resilience, mm -hmm. a bit of tenacity in there, a bit of bite. And, mm -hmm. I, and I think they weren't cowed by playing against Celtic, they stood up to it. Uh, and, and I thought that when we played with quality, we created chances. So I, I thought that if I'm pernickety, I wanted some more goals, yeah. but they're a very, very, very good team. And I'm just proud of the players and the way they stood up to it. So I thank them for that. You spoke in the week about how it would be maybe psychological more than talent. Do you think that kind of showed today with your Rangers side and how you set them out? Well, I thought that the new manager saw a great deal of tenacity and grit from the players. And, and they actually tried to play at times, not always, but they tried to play in a very, very hostile environment on a, on a difficult pitch, I have to say. But... The, the psychological game cannot be overstated because it's so important and I think these players today hopefully have taken a good positive step forward in seeing what they can achieve if they stick together. And a few words for Clint Hill who, he doesn't seem to stop does he? He's, he's unbelievable, he trains like a demon every okay. single day, he's really, really dedicated and I think that he, above everyone else, really deserves it just for his attitude every single day and um, I think I may buy him a drink tonight. <laughs> He's going to have to hold you to that, I'll tell you. Tell him you said that. Well, that's fine, I don't mind that. I might buy a few drinks tonight, but, you know, just standing here and experiencing the whole thing, experiencing our fans, and their fans, and, and watching a team that you've had a hand in putting together for that, for that game plan, watching that come together and work against a very, very good team is something that I can take wherever I go with me, and, and it will really fill me with pride. How much have you enjoyed this, and especially how much were you thankful to get the opportunity to manage today? Well, I, th I think I said all, all the way through that I've been really thankful that the board have put their trust in me. Um, it did take longer than I had imagined. I'm sure some Rangers fans can appreciate that, but the opportunity to stand on the touchline is something that you can't ever take for granted. So I thank the board again for that, and I thought that this could be a seminal watershed moment in my life because that there was full of so many emotions. I was up, I was down, I was angry, I was sad, and at the end of it, I was really elated for the players and I just thought that they, they have to step away from this with a great deal of belief and a great deal of understanding as to what it takes to go and perform at the highest level because that's a good indicator for them today. And what's your position now? What have you been told by the board? Do you step back to under-20s duty? I'll, I'll be stepping back. I'll be coming in tomorrow to see the uh, new manager. Uh, I have a staff meeting. But apart from that, I'll be checking very, very excitedly the FA Youth Cup semi-final result and um, I'll be looking at the young players. But I've got to say, I'll say it again, I just want to thank the players, they've been outstanding for me.